Hi, this is Paul from TraderFifth.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Thursday, the 3rd of January, uh, where I choose one of our stock signals uh, from our membership area and set it up. Uh, so in our membership area here, uh, for the 3rd of January, as you can see, we can choose potential shorts, potential longs, and we, our members, simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet. Gone for shorts today. Uh, and this is um, potential shorts on the 60 minute time frame here, potential fifth wave trade shorts. As you can see, a lot of potential signals there. At the bottom of the spreadsheet, you can see daily and weekly as well. I'm going to concentrate on the 60 minute. I've gone for XOM as oil struggling at the moment. Let's have a look at that on the chart. So, this is XOM on our. Think or Swim platform. So this is the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for Think or Swim. Also available for Ninja Trader, multi charts on TradeStation. This is a 60 minute chart for XOM. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the overall trend. You can see since oil started suffering, this has come down. We've had a pullback of late on the wave four, and this is what we're interested in now. Will it go return to that main bearish intraday trend that we've got at the moment? So let's have a closer look at that right now. Zoom in. Okay, so it's this wave four that we're interested in right now. So initially, we've got some filters on our stock signals membership. The wave force pulled back and found resistance or initial resistance in our green zone. So that represents an 85% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five low into our automated target zones down here, around about $63. Uh, the next is the performance of that waveform. That's our 535 oscillator, and we are right at the limits right now. We cannot go any higher. So the 535 has pulled back between 90 and 140%, as you can see here on the top sub chart. So we cannot go, if it breaks a 140 line and we go higher today, this trade will not happen because it will break one of our rules. But so far, this is okay. If it comes back down today, uh, goes through our entry at 67.19, looks good. Uh, the next is the stochastic. We've got the false breakout yellow dots at the bottom here in the oversold zone. That denotes a really strong bearish trend. The stochastics pulled back against there and crossed over in the overbought zone now. We are looking for that to return to the main bearish trend. Also, I use my MTF dot cloud, multiple time frame dot cloud here to show me my overall bearish trend. Uh, red dots you can see on the multiple time frames. And then we're coming up. This is this pullback we've seen at the moment. We're now looking for these dots to all go red and get red squares at the top again. So we're in a very, very critical um, situation right now in that we need this to come back down. But we've got to be ready. And when we're setting these trades up, this is just one of hundreds of signals today. But again, I've chosen oil. Oil suffering a little bit at the moment. Had this XOM's had its pullback. Will it go back down today? If it does, we want to make sure we're in this trade. So the wave four, the stop loss is above the wave four, 704. So it's above the whole dollar mark as well. The entry is below the low of yesterday. It's outside of our 64 moving average low, the red moving average here, which is part of our Elliott Wave indicator suite. It's also below our um, EMA cloud as well. So we were well and truly on the way if we get through there. So entry 67.19, target around about $63. You can see there the risk to reward of that conservative entry and stop loss is 1 to 1 1.6 to the bottom of the target zone there. So risk rewards just on the fine line as well, but we are good to go. If we get that gap down and move down today through there, we're good to go. As long as we don't break this 535 oscillator, Everything is green for our short on XOM on the 60 minute time frame. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.